Notion automations is finally here. We can finally automate things within our Notion workspace and add triggers and actions that are associated with those automations. Let's dive in. So here we are inside of Notion. I'm going to create an inline database to begin with. And to do that, I just hit slash and then I type inline and then I hit enter and I have a database. Now, if you look right here, we have this little bolt and this is the automations feature. If I click on it, you'll notice that it tells me a little bit about automations and there's a new automation button. When I click on new automation, it allows me to create a new automation. So for the sake of example, I'm just going to close this for a moment. Let's say that we have a task list and I want the task list to return the date that the task was completed. So right now I would have to automatically add a uh, date every time something happens. So if I wanted to change this date in here, I would have to come in here and change it. But with Notion automations, this date can update automatically when a task is marked as complete. So just for an example of how Notion automations works, let's have this date column here and call it completed date. So this is the date when the task was completed. We'll call this task and we'll call this tasks here. I'm going to delete tags and we're going to add a select property. Now for the select property, we're going to go ahead and just call this status. And I'm just going to add two statuses. So we're just going to have not started or complete. And I'm going to delete these out of here. And now we have our task list. So I'll add some tasks. And when these are marked as complete right here, what I want it to do is update this date right here. And I also want it to update any other properties in here that I've added. So maybe I have a person, for instance. So if there's a person in here, I could have it get reassigned to somebody else once I've marked it as complete. I could set up an automation where when this status, so trigger, when the status, and let's change the name of this to status change. So at our trigger, when the status is marked as complete, but not not started, we wanna leave that unchecked. When it's marked as complete, and hit done. What do we want it to do? Well, we want it to update the completed date to now so that it updates it to whatever the time is at that very instance that it's, the task is marked as complete. So we're gonna go now. And I'm also going to add another do this for review. And you can select from people inside of your database that you want to tag something with. So I'm just gonna tag my editor, Francesco, and I'm just going to hit create. So now once my uh, status gets marked as complete. It should update the completed date and the review column. So as you can see, the date of completion and the exact time of that completion was listed. And also the name of my editor gets pinned right here and he might get pinged if he has his notifications on. So that's kind of how this works. Now, if I hit complete again, it would go through and do that once again. So this is just an example showing you how this Notion automations feature works. If you want to, you can pause your automations or edit them here. You can even delete them. And if you want to add new automations, you can do so as well. Just add a trigger, add some actions, and well, save a lot of time. Subscribe, like, comment, and we'll see you in the next one.